Welcome back. You're watching Checkpoint. Thank you for staying with us. Let's now get into some politics, shall we? The One Kenya Alliance uh, Sunday took its forays to Naivasha in Nakuru County, seeking support for its agenda on economic recovery and stability in the country. The One Kenya Alliance principles cited, amongst other things, the administration will cushion those depending on flower farms as their economic mainstay by ensuring that there are progressive policies and tax measures that will protect such industries. Ibrahim Karanja was on the campaign trail and now reports on One Kenya Alliance's take on cushioning the sector that feeds into majority of households in Naivasha is just one among many other promises made in a bid to form government in 2022. The One Kenya Alliance shone the spotlight in Naivasha, Nakuru County. Here, Gideon Moy of Kanu, Musali Mudavadi of ANC, Wipers Kalonzo Musioka, Ford Kenya's Moses Wetangula and Cyrus Jirongo flexing their political muscles as they seek to form government in 2022. From Naivasha town to around flower farms in Karagita, their message was just structured for the locals with matters taxation, education, health, security and fight against corruption taking center stage. <laughs> On stabilizing the country's economy, they promised reforms that will cushion investors and businesses as well as review taxation, which they termed as high. <laughs> They also dismissed talks that some of them are being quoted for a possible alliance with Deputy President William Ruto and ODM leader Raila Odinga. <laughs> Sunday's tour of Naivasha is the beginning of Oka's joint forays into Nakuru County, which is an all-time favorite owing to the number of registered voters and its cosmopolitan nature. Ibrahim Karanja, KTN News. Meanwhile, Deputy President William Bruto today continued his onslaught to conquer.